Windows Vista and 7 offer a feature called Remote Assistance uh, that will allow you to either control someone else's computer in order to offer them support or have someone else control your computer um, so that they can support you. Uh, this is nice if, um, say, you happen to know someone who's a little bit more uh, tech inclined um, and you're having computer troubles, they may want to use this in order to um, take over your computer to fix it for you. Uh, so this tutorial will show you how to send out an invitation for someone to take control of your computer. What you're going to want to do is click on Start, and then down here in the search box, type Remote just leave it at that because I'll do. And then your second option here is Windows Remote Assistance. That may be first or third depending on what you have installed on your computer. So go ahead and click on that. And then this menu will pop up here. Uh, in this case we're trying to invite someone to help us. So we're going to click on invite someone you trust to help you and then save invitation as a file. Now you can save it to wherever you want. I recommend saving it to your desktop and then just leaving it called invitation. So we're going to go ahead and save this. Alright. Now you notice a box will pop up that says give your helper the invitation file and password. Um, what you're going to want to do now uh, is open up your web browser or Outlook client, whatever you use to send email, um, and then email the invitation file you made as an attachment, and be sure to include this uh, password. If you don't include the password, um, they're not going to be able to connect to you. Um, and you'll notice once they do try to connect, a box will pop up in the center of your screen. Um, asking you if you want to accept the invitation. If you know you've just sent out an invitation, um, I would click yes. Uh, if you've not sent out an invitation recently, be sure to click no. These invitations are a one-time use thing, so if for some reason the person on the other end gets disconnected, you'll need to resend them an invitation. This is kind of nice because you're not permanently giving someone permission to access your computer. Alright, 